Hi there, welcome to Blue Skies TV. My name is Kevin Marwood and today we're back at it reviewing more of those amazing cars. So today I'm gonna be doing a review on the car, the Hilux, the latest Hilux. And at the back of me is a 2016 model. This is the GD6, it comes with a 2.8 liter engine. And we're gonna be talking a little bit about the engines and we're also gonna be talking a little bit about the features of the car and of course ultimately give it a drive and I'll let you know what my thoughts are on the ride quality. So we're gonna start off this review with a bit of a background now on the Hilux, right? So the first car that rolled out was back in 1968 that's when the Hilux first rolled out to the market and right now we're sitting on generation number eight so it's been over 40 years of producing this legendary vehicle as i said this is the latest version of the car uh, however well over the years from 2016 to now i've seen a number of facelifts and so this was the first version of this new uh, design this was the first look of this design and now obviously you do get some different designs based on the facelifts that have been uh, given to the car of most or should I say all the 2.8 TD6 models come with this particular grille, right? So the 2.8, by the way, is the top of the range, the diesel top of the range of this particular vehicle. And also the 4 liter V6 comes with the chrome grille, as well as the big headlights, as well as big bumper. And one thing that I need to note is that you can see how big this car is. I mean, if you look back um, to the year 1968, when we first had the first highlights to now, this, lo this thing looks enormous. I mean, it's huge just by the mere look of it. I mean, it looks like somehow, not a bit aggressive, a, a bit calm, but however, very huge. As you can also see there, um, the mirrors are also in chrome. So we're gonna be taking a round look of the car, follow me. So I'm gonna start off um, the review with the exterior of the car and one of which is this amazing, amazing attention to detail right here on the headlights. You can see it's written highlights just to remind you that you are driving your highlights. Really cool that uh, Toyota went out of their way to just show that uh, they are really, really upping up their game with their vehicles. And of course on the side next to um, the Fender here is a 2.8 GD6 badge that you get. And of course, as I said a bit earlier, also the mirror holders also come in chrome just to finish off the beautiful touch and of course with the indicator right next to it and of course when you come below here you can see that um also two air tires went out of their way to give those little um, bits and pieces of attention into detail and you can see on the mud flaps you do have a hilux mark here and of course when you come through to the rear end you also do get a hilux uh badge here at the back on the mud flap which is really really cool Cool. Coming to the rear of the car, you can see there's a Hilux, Hilux badge here as well, just to remind those that are following you that you are driving the mighty Hilux. And of course, also here you've got the brake lights which is situated here just to improve on showing the people at the back of you that you are stopping. And of course, when you come beneath here, you'll see you've got the camera. When you put the car in reverse, the camera does show you what's at the back really cool by to it and of course when it comes to the side you can see this rider and you've got the name right there toyota so another another cool feature that this car has is this roll bar now i did for for the longest of time uh, with my love for vehicles i really didn't understand this i thought it was just you know a bar that's being placed there to make the car a lot more beautiful but hey it actually does uh have a purpose and one of which is when the car rolls over it protects the upper bit here so that's what this roll bar is used for and of course just like I always knew, used for the beauty. It adds a bit of beauty to the car as well as give the occupants extra protection. And of course, right here, it's written rider, just to remind you that this is, of course, a rider. And here we are in the Hilux, right? Please excuse my camera. Uh, my HD high definition, as they call it, camera died on me and I had to make this review. So I made a few plans and yes we are in the new highlights right eighth edition all right so coming to the new highlights right it feels so amazing being in here all right like the design it's so amazing although well there are a lot of uh, there's a lot of cheap plastic we'll forgive them for that it looks 
absolutely amazing in here i mean just here at the door the door panel has this silver touch to it and this chrome ah oh man it looks really 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 amazing it's a very beautiful uh, cabin indeed and of course uh, i'm gonna be taking you through some of the cool things that are in here but one thing i need to mention the sitting position is amazing i mean just sitting here it feels so amazing it really feels so amazing and there's just so much space even my head i've got so much space and just by just sitting and this armrest which you can put things inside as well oh looks utterly amazing in here all right let's check out all the cool features in here so Coming into the cabin of the car, right? Like I said, it feels so amazing here. And I'm gonna take you through some of, you know, the, the cool things, the cool features that this car has in terms of button. Let me just put them on. So the one thing that I like about this car is when you put it on, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put, uh, pull the camera to come a bit closer to me. Uh, first things first, right, before I jump onto that, uh, I like the buttons here, the control buttons that are on the steering wheel here. You can check out various things on uh, the computer of the car on this particular screen, as I said, and one of which is how many liters you're consuming per 100, your fuel range, you can also look at uh, your eco-saving, uh, you can look at various things right also your eco score right it it, it, it gives you a score uh, between zero and 100 so obviously when you hit 100 it means that the score is quite good so it also give you that particular information and as per usual you've got um, your kilometers dial you've got your rpm revolutions per minute here and your cruise control here on the button on the side we're going to be looking at that in a short bit and of course the other thing that this car has is climatronic control right so you've got this um, digital screen which shows you all the information and the other thing that you have which is really really cool now this car is not a four-wheel drive it's a two-wheel drive but if you do have a, a diff lock here so in case you're stuck and you need some help well you do get a diff lock here and of course you've got your traction control button here where you can switch it off and on you've got your usb port here and then you've got also your i guess let's just call it a ux port that you can simply use here and of course right here you there you've got your 12 volt socket as well as uh, here on the side okay and of course coming on to the infotainment system it's really really dope it's a very dope info infotainment system you've got a couple of features in it one of which is you've got the volume here which you can tick up and down and you've got your home button which you can press it takes you home you can check out various things you, you've got your call button here if you want to make a few phone calls you've got audio here when you want to select which audio you want to use maybe you want to use your bluetooth you can just click on it uh, maybe you want to use your aux and the cool thing about this particular infotainment system is a response it's very very responsive that's one thing i like about it and of course as I said, you can use this button for your phone to call people, all right, if you are connected to Bluetooth. So that's another cool feature that this car has, all right? And also up here, you do have your time. I like this. I like this. I mean, more than luxury cars have the clock, you know, the analog clock. Well, you've got a digital clock here. And just next to you, you've got the air vent control to control where the air is blowing to the direction. And of course, you do have some storage, one of which is up here. Um, you can place your glasses, as you can see up here. And here, yeah, there's an interesting button. All right. This is a very interesting button. Now, a lot of people have asked uh, me, what does this button do? So I did my research, did my homework, and I got to find out that this button actually controls the alarm system. Say there's someone in the car and the alarm is on and you don't want the car to, you know, the alarm to go off. You can press this button and the alarm won't go off uh, when it senses that there's someone in the car really really cool feature and so say maybe the seat belt uh is not fastened now this light will go on and it will show you so you don't have to now have to look back and say hey child put on your seat belt so it can show that the occupants at the back 
their seat belts are not on and i want as you put on your seat belt you can see one will switch off all right so it means the seat belt is on and now it's off again coming into uh the front all right i told you that um the set of buttons can show you a number of things and i'm talking about these buttons here all right so when you press on this button you'll see on the screen uh you see you can you can see the range there you can see your fuel consumption like i said your echo score you can see your echo indicator you can see various things which is really good and the other thing that i mentioned that i really like a bit earlier is when you put on the car now check this out now this is also one of my favorite features on this car when you put it on just look at the welcome of that hilux let's try, let, let, let's check it out again shall we i like like i really like this all right so let's put it on look at the mighty hilux coming on nice attention to detail by toyota right there and of course uh coming down here um you can see that there is the button or the control in which you can use for your cruise control right so you just take it up if you want to increase speed you take it down if you want to decrease speed you put press this if you want to switch it on and of course here you've got your indicators you take them up you want to turn left put it down you want to turn right all the cool things and another cool thing that this car has is automatic headlights so when it gets dark it will help you by switching on the headlights automatically and of course in addition to this maybe you are parking in your garage so as you're pulling in slowly the lights will turn on just to help you park your car safely without bumping all right and when we come this side also you've got your wipers right the wiper um control here which also has the automatic function which simply goes on automatically which is really really cool and of course here you can use this buttons to take up your volume if you want to take up the volume it works hand in hand with the infotainment screen and as well as take it down if you want to change your tracks and these are the modes if you want to choose the modes in which you are in um you know base so maybe you want to go on bluetooth or ux and all those things so just press on this button and everything will change and if you want to communicate over the phone this is your answering button and this is your hang up button that you press as well as this button when you want to talk back and to the car giving it instructions you press that button and everything will work all right now coming down here um, let me just adjust my camera uh, coming down here you can see there's a set of buttons here um, one of which is I am T. Now I'm gonna start off with this button, right? A very interesting um button, very interesting technology. So say you are pulling your caravan, right? And you want it to be stable. So you press this button here and it stabilizes the trailer. It helps the car to balance out with the trailer to avoid things like jackknifing and all those things. So you press this button and it will help you. And this is like all cars echo mode that you press if you want to drive safely you want to save fuel and maybe you need a bit of performance you press this power button and the car will respond and trust me in most cars that i've driven it doesn't work no different whatsoever but in this car it certainly does work very cool feature and i like the fact that it actually does work and like i said this car has cymetronic control right let me just put the car on as you can see here um you can use this uh, so you let's just put it on so this is how you put it on you can use this um to um decrease or increase temperature and then here fan speed as uh, you've got the front defroster uh, if you want to circulate air you can press off if you want to switch it off really cool system and you can see here on the screen uh, there's a screen here it says temperature and you can see a sign of a, uh, a fan there and the cool thing is when you switch off the car they also switch off but when you switch it on the way they light it's an amazing touch right there uh, by toyota i really 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 like this and i also spoke about the seat belt indicator so when you put the car on on now this particular indicator here will show you um when someone's seat belt is not on so you don't have to go back and 
tell the back occupants that, hey, your seat belt is not on. So that will help you on its own. Really, 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 really cool. And also, coming into the gear shift, it's a six speed manual. Love it. And uh, by the way, this is a 2.8 GD6, which produces 132 kilowatt output, which is really, really cool from a 2.8 liter engine. I mean, is it, the, the, the displacement is a bit low compared to the three liter V6 from the Amarok and the 3.2 from the Ford, which is now a two liter by a table. Uh, but the engine is very economical and it does give you the power that you need and of course some stitching here as you can see i really 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 like this as well as on the handbrake here that you can simply just push down or up and there's some stitching as well so it's really really cool also here when you come to the armrest, you can see there's some stitching as well. And you've got some storage in here that you can put in. And of course, you do have a cup holder and some tiny storage here. So you can put in your drinks in here. And the cup holders don't stop there. When you come here, you just... Um, press this in and you see you get your cup holder and to push it back in you just do that interesting all right and the same thing on the passenger side you just push it in and then you push it out and of course just here you've got your your dials your controls here for the back windows here front windows lock and lock and you've got this as well the feature where you can press and your back occupants won't be able to open their windows. And of course, you also have this feature, this button that you click here. So this is what this button does. Let me just adjust my camera to show you. So when you click on this button, it works with the mirrors, right? So you click it um, like this. See the window, the mirrors fold. Really, really, really cool. So you click the button again up here and they'll fall, fall back into place. Just click it. There you go. Really cool feature. As well as you've got some speakers here. You've got another speaker down here below as well as at the back. So the sound is quite good. The sound is really, really, really good. Now coming back to the infotainment system in detail, I think I didn't really do justice to it. Uh, looking at what you can do in this infotainment system, all right? Uh, you can click here on menu uh, you can do a number of things so you just click there on menu you can see here you have your let's just go back i just want to show you something quickly so we click menu i think they should have done a back button it's really don't understand why they don't have it but anyway uh so you've got your audio you can choose what audio you want to use. You can press menu again. You've got your telephone. It gives you all the telephone. It gives you your favorites. The people that you like calling. Your call history. Your contacts. Your dial pad. It can simply dial it in. I like the fact that it's easy to use. right? So you just press menu again. And then you come to echo. And then it shows you your average speed that you've driven. Uh, it shows you your past records. shows you... L a lot of things a lot of interesting things and of course here's the back button that pops up here but i'm a bit disappointed with this infotainment system i mean the the quality the picture quality is not so good uh but well they're trying so we'll forgive them for that all right so coming here on the side right another cool thing that i like here is you've got your kb hole where you can put in a lot of things uh just this yeah <laughs> All right, and then when you come up here, you've got this cabin. Now, a very interesting cabin here, by the way. I really like this. So this can be used as a fridge. And trust me, it does cool things down. So if you've got drinks, I don't know why the owner decided to put this. But anyway, we'll put it back in there. So I don't know. But anyway, you can put your drinks in here and you close it off. It'll cool it down for you. Simple as that. Coming onto the side of the passenger, you can see here you've got some nice material. And I forgot to also add that you do have cup holders down there. Yes, also do have cup holders down there. And of course, here, yeah, that's where you can, you know, uh, put your hand for balance and you can see the uh, sign airbag right there. Speaking of signs of airbag, also one up here really really interesting so you can see it here it's just there to show you that you can't put the child in the front seat and of course you've got 
these mirrors right so what you do is just you pull it up and then you can see get mirrors here that you can utilize to see yourself but the downfall that i really think twitter should have done here is add a light i did a review on my jetta and it has a light so when you do this the light pops on so i really think vw should have done the same as well as this side i don't understand why the driver does not have a mirror but anyway twitter felt like the driver is not important therefore he won't have a mirror and coming back uh my camera guy at the back here, uh, Mr. JJ, is going to be starting his YouTube channel soon. I'm going to show all the details with you regarding that in the near future. So here you do have the rear view mirror, which is really, really cool. And another interesting detail, right, is the stitching here. You can see there's some stitching, although it's plastic, but they tried, like, they really tried and you've got this touch this silver touch i like this like 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 and yeah you've got some storage here on the side as well you've got some nice storage here and of course you've got the hook here uh, where you can you know hold yourself so that's what you have and of course seat belts seat belts on and of course coming down here i want to show you really something quite cool right so you can adjust um just like most most cars right you can adjust um the lights where they are illuminating so you can use this to take it front and back and just below here here. let me just show you quickly all right so just below here you can see there are buttons here which you can use this is for to open your uh, bonnet and this is to open your fuel cap so you can use this um ah, this um levers and the reason why i'm the reason why i'm saying ah, you might be surprised it's because of this blanks I think Twitter should have just a little button that you can press to open your hood you can press open up the fuel tank Mm. All right, and here, well, there was a button that was supposed to be here. So if you had a little bit of cash, you could opt for the uh, button start feature where you could just uh, press it and the engine goes on. Unfortunately, we've got the old way of starting the car. So those are all the cool features that this car has. And of course, it also shows you, here you can see at the door, uh, on the screen rather, you can see that the door is open. So it shows you exactly which door is open. And my cameraman just opened the back um, door and you could see that it showed that it was open. Also opening the other door on the other side, you can see that it was open. And of course, up here, you've got your dome lights, reading lights, all right? You've got one here as well. And uh, that's what you have in this car. Let's some through to the back and welcome to the back seat of the toyota hilux the 8 edition as i love to call it the 2.8 gd6 uh so the owner told me that you need to boast about the engine because you're not just driving any hilux you're driving the 2.8 so well let, 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 let's check out the cool things that the back has i mean I'm, I, one thing I'll, I'll, I'll mention right the back seats are uh, super comfy very comfortable and as you can see i'm a very long champ but i've got enough leg room i've got more than enough leg room which is really really cool here and even when i have got my seat belt on i still have enough leg room let me just put it on so i've got this here which is really cool and the the, the 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 door cover is really the same as the front you've got some cup holders here and this is where you can put your hand to close the door and you've got your headrest here which is really cool also for the middle passenger they're also important therefore they get a headrest which is really really cool now another cool thing all right so maybe you want to relax you at the back and you're tired you want to relax your hand hey you also get an armrest which is really cool also comes with cup holders you can put your hand and just relax but i feel like toyota should have added you know um, a char a, a charging port here you know a 12 volts or usb port at the back here um so wow well, but anyways that's what you get when you buy highlights and let me also add in most cars you get plastic here and here you've got some nice uh, material here you don't get plastic so some nice material and you can put it back into place and the person in the middle seat can comfortably sit and also let me try and show you so when you're sitting in the middle seat it's also quite comfy not bad 
really really not bad in here uh, but you know the problem is here and you can see how I'm sitting here so I think this is the downfall but let me just come back here but here when you're sitting here you should you have some some space which is really cool and you've got these hinges as well now I really don't know what you're gonna hinge here but Twitter decided to give you a hinge and I think they should have added a hinge somewhere here for you know when you want to go out you're heading out to a business meeting and really want to check out all the cool things i think they should have added a hinge here not here i think well you can put an hinge here and your toes lie down here but i think it would make more sense here but nonetheless it's all cool it's all 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 cool now let's come down here like let's come let me let me show you this side let's come down here all right so another cool thing that this car has is um, some hinges for baby seats. So if you want to put in a baby seat, you can see there's a hinge down here. Just pull it in and it automatically hinge into place, which is really, really, really cool. I really love um, the attention to detail in terms of labeling here. It really shows you how you get everything done. It's also happening on this side. And those are some of the cool things that this car has. And another cool thing that this car has is the seats that it can fold. I'll show you in a minute. Actually, can I do it from inside? Oh, yes, I can. So you fold these seats. Now you just pull up the lever and you fold the seats and you can see here, that's where you put in your, you know, your wolf span as well as your jack. Put them all in here and of course some storage space in here as well which is really really cool so to put it back into place just put it back and then you just do place to put everything in really 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 cool and of course you've got the seat belt for the middle occupant as well which is really nice another interesting feature that a lot of vans have uh that's why i'm saying it's interesting it's the thought of putting it, you know, the person who's thought of, okay, well, uh, how about we get a back window? So you've got this, which you just open and you slide. And I'm not sure if it really does come in here, but the whole idea, I think personally, was to say, if you've got a canopy and you've got people at the back and you want to talk to them, you can just open it and say, hey, are you good back there because you're comfortable in here? Or maybe you want to take something back there, you can just come out and grab it from this sliding window. And when you're done, slow. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a bit steep though. But, ah, and it's man power, ah, just kidding. And that's how you get to do it. And that's it. My review on the 2.8 uh, Toyota Hilux. I think I've shown you all the cool, interesting features of this car. Uh, what we need to do now is, of course, take it for a drive. Take Another interesting feature that a lot of vans have uh that's why i'm saying it's interesting it's the thought of putting it you know the person who's thought of okay well uh how about we get a back window so you've got this which you just open and you slide and i'm not sure if it really does come in here but the whole idea i think personally was to say if you've got a canopy and you've got people at the back and you want to talk to them, you can just open it and say, hey, are you good back there because you're comfortable in here? Or maybe you want to take something back there, you can just come out and grab it from this sliding window. And when you're done, slow. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a bit steep though. But, ah, and it's man power, ah, just kidding. And that's how you get to do it. And those are the cool features of the 2016 GD6 2.8 Toyota Hilux. Now, when buying it brand new, it would cost you 460,000 Rand. That was back in 2016. And now you've got your Legend 50, you've got your Dakar, which costs a little bit more. But I'm a bit disappointed um, with what you get. It's basically the same standard um, car inside. But of course, the GD6 um, Legend 50 looks amazing.
and with all the out exterior features there so it really looks absolutely amazing and of course uh you do get a couple of engines base model is a two liter engine which is a bit heavier on fuel just like the previous generations the seventh generation and of course coming up to the petrol um top of the range it's the four liter v6 which is um not a very good buy looking at the cost of fuel today I, I, i've i've seen only one on the road and i've heard a lot of people saying that this the, the four liter petrol v6 is good for people that love pulling caravans apparently it's very good with that and of course coming back to the diesel engines the 2.8 gd6 engine which gives you 130 kilowatt output and of course you've got the 2.4 which gives you 110 kilowatt output so those are all the cool features that you get in the toyota hilux and i'm gonna be giving you more insight right um with regards to this car um, when you look at the description below i'm gonna post all the cool things about this car i mean you have safety features as standard um your electronic stability control you've got your abs all those basic um safety features that a car should have so thank you very much for watching the video don't forget to subscribe as well as hit the bell icon to be alerted when we make a new upload.